What's up, baby guys? It's your man Joe. Give it around just a thought that you need to know. If I sound muzzled, it's because I'm still going through the uh, seasonal allergies. Um, yeah, so please bear with me on that. Um, reason why I wanted to get onto this topic of uh, uh, Chick Fil A and politics. Um, recently, things. Every time I hear about the uh, Chick Fil A, I always talk about the LGBTQ community, and I always had like a—I guess you, you could say I had a problem. Not me, not now, not anymore. But um, I'm sorry, it's kind of, it's kind of hot in here. Um, let's just open the window or something. So I'm fine, yeah. Um, I think the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I haven't really thought about it too much, but like every time I hear about Chick-fil-A, you know, not really all, the uh, Chick-fil-A always uh, often talk about, at least the owner of the Chick-fil-A always go off, often talk about the LGBT, how, you know, I mean, it's pretty much sort of a conservative, uh, restaurant um <coughs> sorry <coughs> so um yeah so and it, again then the owner of the LG, not the owner I mean Delta of Chick Lego often would bring up you know how they do not support the LGBTQ community and I was like when I first heard about like you know the Chick Lego was speaking on that is that you know maybe that they shouldn't you know get into politics like that or certain restaurants that get into politics but i think it is a good thing to tell them like hey that they don't support it the lgbtq community and you know and stuff like that is because eventually that restaurant will probably probably uh, will be attacked at some point um by the left because you know because everybody's now, because all, because pretty much all the others, you know, companies, like, I'm not going to name which one, but, like, most companies, you know, they, they support it and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, as far as for Chick-fil-A, they stick with their guns. And I think that we need that. Um, and I actually heard of, like, an article, an article where they uh, re interviewed the owner saying that, you know, that they hire, you know, gay folk into their restaurants, but, you know, but they wouldn't probably, they, but they wouldn't, you know, conform to the LG, conform to the LGBTQ community. So, like, oh, okay, so, you know, it's still a fast food chain, but they still, you know, respect and honor God and his commandments, you know, they rest on the seventh day, they don't open on Sundays, um, <coughs> but it's cool, I don't have a problem with that. And, it, and Chick Fil A is like the most third person, third restaurant in America. Um, I don't know what's the first two, but um, yeah. And another thing that I also wanted to point out is that you know Chick Fil A is also trying to open up, you know, in restaurants, you know, or try to expand the restaurants into airports. And but all recent, you know, LGBT activists have been, you know, going against it, you know, they try to have, like, restaurants where they have their, like, their open, you know, their, their rainbow flag, um, and stuff like that, and I'm just like, hmm, we have, like, a very most popular fast food chain, I've only been here, like, once, but this is my second time going, the fries are not that bad, eat a little salt, but they're not that bad, um, But all in all, I think now since Chick Fil A is expanding, not is expanding. Um, I think yeah, there's gonna be a lot of activists from the left, uh, from the LGBT. Not just I don't think not just from the LGBT, but many other activists as well. So anything that holds you know um, God's value or the Bible or Christ's teaching or anything, I think they probably restaurants like Chick Fil A are probably gonna be more attacked like that so, so so i don't just like you know what let's just tell them let's just say it like it is 
tell them that we don't support this particular thing. But I don't know. But let me guys what you tell me what you guys think about Chick-fil-A. If you like it, do you know if you don't like it. I haven't tried their sandwiches yet, but oh man, I just let you guys know about I cut up my mouth. I mean I cut my tongue because it hurts right now. So so what you guys think. Alright, such so a man Joe. See you guys in another video or so. Alright.